ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Christelle Martinet, and I'm here with the monthly readings for the month of June. Now, what do we have this month of June? What do we have? What do we have? Well, right off the bat, I can say that the, we start with a penumbral lunar eclipse, a lunar eclipse um, between the nights of, uh, between the days of 5 and 6th of June. And what does that mean? The penumbral moon lunar eclipse, it will look like a round circle with light all around it. Penumbral is shadow, means shadow. This lunar eclipse is in Sagittarius. And then the next one takes place. That was a lunar eclipse. The next one takes place um, on June 21st. And it is a solar eclipse in Cancer with very intense and antagonistic energy, followed by unpredictable and difficult to follow events. And so this moon, sorry, this June, this June has two moons and two eclipses, a solar and a lunar eclipse. So you can imagine. Um, on June 21st, the moon will block the sun over Africa, uh, the Central African Republic, Congo, and Ethiopia, south of Pakistan as well, and northern India um, and China, most mostly all of China. Uh, you'll be able to see that. It's going to be very intense June um, with the potential to cleanse the potential to purify close some loops or wounds that's really important to remember or get rid of eradicate some unconscious or borrowed patterns that we may have which could be old or very very old and could be ours or from our ancestors so the solar eclipse in cancer on june 21st represents a great time a propitious moment for letting go of the past I'll say it again, letting go of the past. How many times have we heard that before? But only after we offer ourselves enough time for closure following some less pleasant events. So how are we going to conduct these readings this month? Let me show you the decks that I'll be using. I have the Egorov Tarot. It's a, it's a Russian deck. I got it in um, St. Petersburg. Gold edition of the Egorov Tarot. Beautiful deck. Beautiful deck. Slightly different from the Universal Tarot deck. Then I have the Silver Witchcraft deck, which is one of my favorites. I always say it's one of my favorites. And then I have my Veracipila cards that you know I use all the time. And of course, I have my runes. So, um, for those of you who are here for the first time, if you like what you see, do share, subscribe, and ring the notification button so you'll get notified. I would appreciate that. Enjoy these readings and write to me under uh, these um, each reading to tell me how it resonated. Tell us a little bit about your story. It's always nice to share our stories, especially in this time of social seclusion, you know, and it's, you know, we are all in the same boat. We are. So enjoy the readings. Namaste. Hey, 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 Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's see what's in store for you for the month of June. Aquarius spirit, tell me what's in store for, show me what's in store for Aquarius for the month of June. Show me what's in store for Aquarius for the month of June. Spirit, show me what's in store for Aquarius for the month of June. Show me what's in store for Aquarius for this month of June, for this beautiful eclipse month for the month of June. Show me what's in store for Aquarius for the month of June. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We've got here the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Coins has been making a um, an appearance in many readings, this Ten of Coins. And then we've got, this is the first time with this deck, The uh, it's called Selflessness, The Hanged Man has appeared. It's the first time with this deck, The Hanged Man. Then we have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Aquarius. What about this? We've got the five of wands, this contention, playful, white, uh, five of wands. Then the four of 
coins. Now look at that, the four of coins. It is quite different from the Rider Waite deck. And then the Sun Genius has come out. This is the Temperance card. You can see the water there. It's quite different from the Rider Waite tarot. But I tell you, um, Aquarius, I remember last month's reading for you, and I remember what was said. And here I'm seeing, okay, we start, we have this, um, this um, beautiful ten of coins coming in as an entrance card, and that is abundance for all intents and purposes. That is uh, spiritual and financial abundance, good for you. But why does the, uh, why do the tarot, why do the um, Egorov tarot tell you with that hanged man and the sword, the ace of swords right next to it, what is it trying to tell you? Okay, look at this. It's showing you the Seven of Swords, the Star, and the Six of Cups. Look, there is this bone of contention, the Seven of Swords, as if you're conflicted, um, Aquarius. There is something that uh, makes you a bit has a has you know there's churning inside in inside your uh second third chakra area there's certain a uh, not a block but there is movement there it's quite not open but there's the star there and the six of cups the six of cups is all about a return from someone of your past if it's not in this lifetime it is in your past lifetime but i see here that this is a person that may not be available 100% for you. And this is the bone of contention. This is that seven of cups. Why? But, you know, it's, it's sort of star-crossed lovers. You know, this is a star-crossed lovers situation. And um, you can't deny it. Neither you nor this other person can deny it. And try as you may, try as you might, Aquarius, you've gone you know, out with someone, you may be involved with someone for life, but there is this person that is there always. And I can't even say, uh, Aquarius, that it's on the back burner because it's really on the front burner in your mind. No matter what you do, no matter how what you're working on, no matter where you are in the world. Now, I have this five of wands. That is a very playful card. And we might want to say in this line of command here that it's a playful card the way, you know, that you have this happy banter with this person. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. We've got the nine of wands. The situation is becoming unbearable for you. And I can understand that. The magician, you really literally can take it as you wish. You can take it or leave it, but you are the deciding factor here. Then we have the Queen of Swords. Now, um, Aquarius, this may uh, be a fellow. Well, this is you, actually. Uh, this is the air sign that you are. And you are in, for all intents and purposes, the magician in this situation. Why is this so unbearable? Let me take the... Vera Sibila on that. What is it about this situation that is so, so unbearable? Apart, apart from the issue that the person may be involved with another person. This is a person who could be married, who could have a very heavy baggage that you cannot accept. What am I looking at? Well, yeah, okay, you don't see any way out, literally. This is looking to the future, Belvedere, which is for you not possible death. This is the death card, Morte. And Giovanni Fanciulla is the virgin of the deck. She speaks to a new beginning, just like death announces a closing and an opening, a closing and an opening. But, you know, it seems to me, Aquarius, what I'm looking at is that the closing that you would like to close is a person who's available to you, but you're not, you're just not there. You're just not in love with them. And what you want to open is that situation that's not completely available to you. So let me go on because there's also this signal of the four of coins and the four of coins I always read 
as you coming out of your ashes, as we coming out of our ashes, even if it's always um, taunted, it's always uh, claimed that it is a miserly, you know, we, we holding on to. Now, this is a highly spiritual card, and it is a card of learning. Let me show you what I have come out. I have the three of coins, which is before. It's a, it's a progression here from the three to the four. Okay. We've got the two of swords and definitely you feel high in your mind, Aquarius, that perhaps it's time to make once and for all a decision. And then the three of cups. And when you decide, when you put it in your mind that you're not the only person here and you're not doing it by yourself, but indeed there is another person and you give them that power of decision together with you, that's when things start to change. And effectively, that's when in the month you come to the in awareness, you know, you really come literally to an awareness. And this is what was pre-announced by the hanged man prior to this four. Let's take a look at this sun. Well, before I go into that, let me take a few Sibylla cards here over this. Let me see. Mm, okay. So you recall, we have the four of coins there, then we have the three of coins, the two of swords, and the three of cups. So there is a progression here. There is a realization of something that can be done in a different way and together. Well, I have here the Donna di Servizio, who is a housemaid. She's always a helper. She's always a positive card to come out. Then Messaggero, the messenger, and Stanza, where the messages go. This is something coming in very quickly. These are uh, thoughts, ideas, messages, literally communication to you very quickly from this person who's in the front, on the front burner uh, now that you wanted to keep on the back burner, but you're not able to. So what am I going to do here? Now I'm going to go to this Ace of, of um, Swords. And usually the Ace of Swords is always the emergence of some, some form of truth. Well, what do we have? Four cards have popped out here. What do we have? We've got the Queen of Cups. Okay, we could say that you're involved with a, a water sign. We could say, I, I, you know, you see here the sarcasm in my voice. I could say superficially if I want. Of course, there are going to be Aquarius out there that have a water sign in their uh, uh, chart, in, in sort, sort of <laughs> water sign in their life, a Cancer, a um, Scorpio, or a Pisces. The death card, and that's why four cards have come out, the page of coins, and the ten of wands. So definitely, this is the end of a heavy cycle. Absolutely, the, the end of a heavy cycle. What was emerging here? Without a doubt, there is a party. Maybe that person who is involved with someone else is involved with the fire is a water sign, involved with the water sign. What I'm looking at here, the truth is emerging that, yes, I do love you, they say finally, once and for all. I've never said it before. I, why haven't I said it before? Because I can't, because I'm not able to, do, I have children, I have, you know, so there's, there's this realization, you have pressed that person so far and pushed them until they finally say, said, well, why are we, why are we still here? Because I love you, you know, so, so this em truth does emerge. Now, I'm going to take the Sun Genius, this temperance card, to see exactly if it is calling upon you, uh, Aquarius, to wait. Is there something that's coming in further down the road? How interesting is this? We've got the Ten of Coins as we had the Ten of Coins. I love it when we get those same. And we have the Hanged Man like we had here, the hanged man and the eight of coins. It's a working relationship, a relation that you will be working on. It's not that you're working with them, but it's a relationship that is going to develop when in time with the, with the um, temperance card. Let me pull some Sibylla cards here. All right, look. 
We've got prison. All right, that is the marriage situation. That is the the, the ball and chain. This is a bond that is difficult to bond, bind. <laughs> bond that is difficult to break, and it's a marriage. I have a Mika Harmony and a child. Look, this situation talks about um, what is to be faced in the future. We're going against a situation that is in place where there are offspring, where there is um, a certain amount of harmony, at least in one of the party's uh, heads at home. Now I'm going to take a look at that emergence of truth through the Sibylla, with the Sibylla here. Let's take a look. All right. Um, what I'm looking at is such a thought that this is something, this is the priest, the priest who hides things and that was hidden in the house, something hidden in the house, Casa and Imeneo, in the marriage. Obviously, yes, this person is occupied and yes, they still love you. That is the question. That is the answer that you're being given. I'm going to go to that 10 of coins because they're calling out to me with this, um, with both decks. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look, Allegrezza al cuore, happiness in the heart, domestico, the house domestic and denaro safe. And it's also a marriage. This is a bond, a, a very strong bond, difficult to break. Now, I'm seeing that here too, the domestico is a figure that is very sly, slidey, and sh and sort of um, slippery. Okay, they too hide things. They also um, create situations that we would like not to look at, would like not to even acknowledge. But that ten of coins sits behind, literally stands behind, this spiritual abundance of the relationship underlies a situation where things are being hidden and there's makeshift harmony. So there are two levels here. There's a highly spiritual level and it is love. They profess their love. And there's another situation where they need to take care of business because something is afoot. Change is underway. Let's take the runes to see what they have to add. All right. Now, well, it's not going to be easy, but I, it will be worth it. We have Lagos, Lagos, Merkstave, and I don't like to see it, Merkstave. Why? Because it is all about learning and learning a very difficult lesson. Emotionally, you're, go you're in for an emotional joyride, difficult, and that's not a happy one. This, too, is Merkstave, and this is Manat's humankind, inter interdependence, and you don't have that interdependence. You don't have that, that stable partnership. This is not a good time for making plans with that person. However, joy is there. This is Wunyo. And Wunyo does talk about joy. This is the rune of happiness. This is a rune of a positive outcome, success in your affections. Let's hold on to that. Let's hold on to that. Although we have Isa, which literally is ice, freezing, cooling down in the relationship. Um, okay, calm your horses cool cool down we need to, to wait we've get we get that okay we've got the hue tree well we've got algaes which is a fortunate new influence in your life okay it's also a protective room and when i say a protective room i mean that the rune is there for you to remind you that yes the situation is difficult but yes it's worth it yes there is love this is what the, the life is all about love makes the world go round and life love is going to make your world go round and you need to acknowledge it and you need to tell yourself yes okay i do i do care for that person and i know i just can't hide it away need 
nerdy, nerdy, nasty need, I call it patience. There's a delay. You need patience. There are constraints. We know that. If there's a third party involved, especially if there are children involved, okay, we get it. We know that uh, uh, there is a situation where um, there's a possibility of failure uh, to get together with that person, but you're not going to let it fail because there, the universe has other plans for you. There are more, there's more in store. Pedro, Pedro is a rune of magic, a mystical rune, hidden secrets, secrets emerge. And that is the key. Secrets emerge. You, that person finds out it emerges and surprises come about, come to the fore. We've got Keynots, which is Merkstave, unfortunately. Now, Keynots is a rune that tells you about warmth and so and opening up. Well, there's going to be very little of that. You cannot start something new yet, okay, in this position. Then I have Yera, and Yera is harvest. It's a karmic rune. You get rewards for sticking around still with that person. Justice, legalities. Um, you're waiting for a sentence, uh, a ruling that is in the someone in the family or a, a close friend or relative. And that is embroiled in this period of June as well for you, Aquarius. I have Soilo here. The sun is shining. It's been coming out so much during the month of June. I love it. I'm so happy because regardless of all of the difficulties, it's there. Soilo is victory, great power and success. What more could we want? Love is yours. Love is yours, Aquarius. Namaste. I do hope this reading was of help to you. And until we read together again, bye-bye.